Hello everyone, my name is Zillier2 and welcome back to my Let's Play uh, of EU4 with the Imperium Universalis mod with Roma, yes! So, in the last episode, as you can see, we have finally united all of Central Italy together as one. Now, we basically are the one Diaconsentis country left, other than um, Vicenai, of course. Uh, so right now, where can we expand? These guys are allied with them. Might be able to take them out. If we attack Scipios, no, I'd want to call them in as a co-belligerent anyways. Hmm. And these guys are still allied with... Uh, four people, that's pretty bad. I mean, granted, if we have a large, a large enough navy, we should be alright... But, uh, yeah, so let's get our soldiers back right now before we start thinking about anything, really. Alright, they're all returning home. Good. Good, good, good. That's it. Good. Screw you. I don't care who you are or what you want. Just go away. Uh, 443. Thank you. Awesome. So, in terms of military, how powerful are we? I know we're, yep, third in the world. I know. Oh, Carthage is a higher force limit. Uh, but they don't have more soldiers, so no, they are not more powerful. That's, that's how that works. Anyways, actually, you can go down to there. You can go to Rome. No, not you, just 10,000 guy. Okay, if they have 11,000, if we could just get our navy now... Oof, right, we need... Oh, right, we're getting enough sailors now. Great. Unireems... Wait, what are you right now? You're all trade ships. So we've all got a bunch of Unireems. We can get a lot more, actually. Wow. Six, seven, eight, nine... Let's get ten. Ten Unireems. That should be plenty to uh, defend our... um. Sea tiles, sea borders. If we can take down a Ithalia all by ourselves, that would be great. Liburni might actually be able to uh, attack us, although we have some forts up there, and we should be able to take them down ourselves. All right, and there we go. Uh, close it to that one. Let's get all these dudes together. Also, what is our transport army like here, actually? These transports can go land, and you can go land as well. We only have four transports. That's definitely not enough. We're going to get some cargo ships. Seven. You know what? Why don't we do this the easy way? Do it the easy way. Uh, transports. We'll build ten. Yeah, I know. We should build... We technically should build six, but I'm just going to build ten right now. Uh, admin tech. Oh my god. God, can we get this institution, please? Dear, yeah, everyone else has it. Why can't we? Uh, we could develop, like, Rome or something. Ooh, you know what? That's about to get it. I don't think I want to tech up until I get it. Okay, good. All right, so after those transports are built, we'll build six more to get a nice 20,000... Yeah, 20,000 20, capability. Uh, 442. It's good enough for me. All right. So, six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go ahead. Uh, no debate in Senate. Right, right, right. We need to... Again, that aggressive expansion decrease. I like that. Good political office. More local power. There you go. Awesome. And we can now embrace an institution for 700 gold. I'm okay with that. And let's go ahead and get our technologies. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so there's the cores finishing. Do we really have many rebels? No, they pretty much all love us. Except for you. Well, I hate you, too. Uh, all right, let's get these transports going. Uh, you oh, go away. Go to there. There's all six. Group up. All right, so you guys can, again, protect trade. And you guys will be the defenders. Um, you know, I think we should be able to get ten more. Unireems, shouldn't we? Let's get, um... What, what, what should it be called? Galleys? Let's just say galleys right now. Even though they're not technically galleys. Alright, build. In, in a couple of months, they should finish. 
So do you hate me yet? No, you still do. Great. Actually, why don't you split in half when you go there, when you go there? Do you still have unrest? Nope, it's gone. And your unrest is almost totally gone. Great! So slaves are not going to rise up. Taurini, I really don't give a damn who you are or what you want. Go away. Carthage, ugh, it sucks how they uh, own land there. But whatever. The Romans will own all of Italia and later all of the Mediterranean. It shall become Mare Nostrum. All right, with 20 Unirims, I'd say our navy is pretty uncontested across the Mediterranean, at least right now. I should probably check that first. Yeah, actually, we have the most galleys out of everyone. Most ships in general. Uh, we don't use that many, too, which is awesome. All right, with all these Unirims, we'll be able to transport a whole army over. I think we would be safe if we went to war now with four people. We know there's always been four people. Three very tiny people. If we got these guys like over there and just sit there, that should be good. Um, Actually, you two group up again, please. By the way, do we have eh, a little bit more army force limit, but I think it's fine right now. Uh, Go there. Yes, the gods will be with us. Always, 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 always. All right, save the game here. Let's go to war with the Greeks. Yes, they are Greeks indeed. Uh, Liburi, Alilia. Are you guys allied with anyone else important? Uh, yeah, I'm probably not concerned about time, but I, I, I want to land at least. I want to take over at least one province in there. Just so I have a um, base of operations, I can then cross to take over there, uh, Corsica and Sardinia. All right, yeah. So let's declare war. We won't call anyone in as a co-belligerent. That's fine. All right, you can call. You can go there. Bad day for our arm. Great. Disease strikes right as we declare war. Uh, we so the armies actually we have a much larger army than they do, which is great. Just fantastic. Uh, I don't want to siege, or not siege, I don't want to enslave all these people, at least not yet. Uh, you guys. Yeah, you know what, we're, s go there. Lock them off, don't let them escape. Great. Alright, so they're all, they are all killed. You all can go there. We'll invade them next. An election. Uh, zero, 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 four, zero, uh, zero, four, four. That's the word. All right. Oh my God, we destroyed that navy. Hell yeah. Oh, someone pissed me off. Um, can we get this navy to now go there? They are supposed to run away during war time, but I think we're fine if we just do this. Yeah. I, I, you know what? Unite. You're a good enough navy, I'd say, to uh, unite. And you know what? Split in half. When do you go there? Help out the siege. Make it a bit quicker. Yes. Yes, yes. Quit, quicker, quicker, please. All right. Can we take all this land without getting a horrible coalition? Well, that's just Ithalia. And I'm going to want just a piece of land. Probably that land. Right up there. And then I'll be able to spread into Corsica and Sardinia. And we will become even more powerful. And at that point, we can actually start invading North Africa. But we won't. We want to... Again, we want to unite Italia first. Uh, sacking of them. 9,000 more slaves. Uh, I really don't want to. No, we're fine. Alright, so Ithalia has fallen. Let's get all of our ships to, to unite there. Who is the amazing leader? Yeah, six fire. There he is. Uh, actually, you can land there first. And then we'll attack, and then we'll... Actually, he's retreating already. Wow. How handy. How incredibly, incredibly handy. And you're a great seizer, so that's fantastic. All right. Uh, farmer. A farmer? Really? Farmer died. Let's get another farmer. A farmer as an advisor. Yeah, that makes sense. So we're all... Okay, we're, we're at war with all those guys. Maybe we should take over one from these guys. Beleri's as well. What the hell is that? Neuragic? What are they? I have no idea. They ha they don't have a description. Whatever. Uh, actually, can I look at it? It's only on those islands. So it must be island specific. 
Oh yeah, it's all on these uh, Mediterranean islands for some reason. Great earthquake. All right, Vena is now as a core. Good. Let's increase unre uh, unrest autonomy. I mean, uh, convert that province from Celtic to Glorious Diconsentis. Uh, yeah, we'll wipe out these armies. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And I mean with extra lemon squeeze. All right. Uh, wait, we can't. Okay, th that is connected. So we will be able to core the land, or at least should be able to. I mean, if it's technically touching. So, yeah. All right, let's destroy this army here. All right, so they're all gone. Destroy this army. Okay, cool. They'll attack me and we'll destroy them as well. All right, where's the amazing... Okay, the fire leader is down there. Let's go to there. And we'll blockade. We won't... Well, that won't technically be a blockade, but, you know, whatever. All right, uh, if we did that and then took over that, only Ithalia would be pissed. Okay, cool. And they're going to get wiped out, so it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter what the fuck they think about us. All right, switch off. You have the amazing uh, amazing siege leader anyways. All right, and you guys stay down there. We have a lot of manpower. Wow, this is awesome. All right, we can get even more discipline. Hell yeah, 170, uh, 107.5 discipline is pretty damn good, especially in the early game. As we technically still are in the early game. If we annex them, yeah, then... Well, actually, then a lot... Yeah, then it would only be them getting pissed off. Uh, if we instead... We could annex them right now, really. Yeah, no one would get pissed off at that. Give me all your money as well. Awesome. So, we're going to have to core that land. Yeah, they're pretty pissed off. Who cares? Uh, well, just go ahead, I guess. Attack. We'll be right here if you need us. Oh, they actually have a fort there on their capital. Well, I'm happy they only have their forts on the capital rather than just two different... You know what? I'll take slaves because I'm not going to take that anytime soon. Who is this? It's Corsica. Right. Corsica, you guys... We did that. Then we get a coalition with Ithalia. Again with Ithalia. Actually, I think I'm okay with that. If it's just Ithalia, then I'm sure... Well, we should check right now. We annex them. Then we'd have a problem. It'd be... Well, Ithalia's gone. Corsica's gone. Venturi, we have a truce with. Massilia and Scipios. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm totally okay with that. Well, Massilia is actually pretty large now. And Scipios... Down here? Really? Okay. Well, screw you guys. I'll, I'm taking over all of um, Corsica right now, man. Screw you guys. All right. You can go down there. Siege up the lands. They are totally willing to surrender now. Actually, might as well uh, do this surrender, shall we? And again, just to check, Ithalia is gone. Corsica is gone. Venturi is a true. So only two. Two, technically. Oh, I did not check overextension. Okay, good. Overextension is okay. We're fine. We're not going to die. But look at that Rome. Look at that Rome. And they're killing the rebels for us. Oh, isn't that just awesome? All right. Uh, foreign spy detection I don't care about. We are now a great power. Oh, really? Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> we are now the second great power in the world. We are above the Qi, which are the Chinese, and only below Persia. Persia is that. So Rome has achieved greatness. We have already... Uh, wait, what's this? Uh, Cicero Plebius. Of course, freaking the plebes. Grand privileges. There you go. Don't get pissed off. No, I'm not going to make that into a state. At least not yet. Uh, you guys... Oh, that is fantastic! They're losing soldiers that way, and that's awesome. Wait... Sardinia? Wait, did you guys annex Sardinia? Because that island is Sardinia. Or maybe it was conquered by the Sardinians and then got named Sardinia. I don't know. Anyways. And finally, yeah, they had their entire army get wiped out. But there you go. Irrigation system. Cool. Bicenai, thank you for the, your extreme help in that war. And look at that. No no coalition. Because no one gives a damn. I think we're going to have to cool down and uh, just wait a little bit. For our aggressive expansion to go away. 
We're gonna have to convert all this land, of course. What is our, um... Yeah, 84% religious unity. Actually, it won't take that long to convert these lands. That is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We have very little Diplo power. That is not a good thing. Mm, should we still focus on Diplo points? I don't think we should. By the way, what's our force limit? 60. Hey, that's what I like to see. All right, Rome, get us 10 more brigades. Look at that. Now we're more powerful than Carthage. In fact, we're almost as powerful as fucking Babylon. We're as powerful as Babylon in terms of force limit. Yeah. Yeah. We're pretty fucking powerful now. <laughs> now it's honestly just a snowball effect. As long as we... Fine, whatever. As long as we are stronger than uh, anyone who dares try to build a coalition against us, we can take over whatever the fuck we want. We are gods now. Kind of. Kind of. I mean, these guys are all still allied with these guys, right? No? No? no he did wipe out quite a few. Oh, you're a tributary of Carthage. <laughs> and you're a vassal of Carthage. So, really, it's just these three Greeks. They are Greeks, right? I believe they're Greeks. Well, they're Olympoi. No, wait, these guys are Illyrian. Oh, but they're, yeah, they're all Olympoi. So, they're Greeks. Which means all I have left are the Greeks and the northern tribes. And I will unite Italy. Uh, technically, Sardinia was part of Fran is part of France. But, okay, whatever. You know what I mean. We'll unite the boots. The boots. And then we'll also take over uh, Sardinia. Take over the islands. And from there, we'll probably just expand however we can. We might expand down into Carthage. Carthage does seem... What land do you... Oh, 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 whoa, okay, there it is. I was wondering, like, where the hell do they have land in? But no. Forgot they're called the Punics for some reason, not Carthaginians. Why is it Punic? I'm sure someone's going to answer that question. And I will be happy to learn. Because learning is fun, kids. Always learn. Always learn. By the way, how's the Iberians? I wonder what the Iberian religion is like. Hmm. Whatever. Speaking of which, how is the Middle East? You know my Elis. I don't know what that is. But okay. Uh, Egypt has fallen apart utterly. Persia is Persia-ing. They must have horrible religious unity. I mean, their Mitraism, which I'm assuming is Persian. I'm going to assume that's what that is. Uh, 443. Yes, that is good. All right, once all these cores are done, we're, ooh, we have a lot of rebels ready to kill me. Well, the good thing we have all these soldiers, huh? Right, right. Force limit's already a bit more, a li little bit higher. That's always a good thing to see. All right, Natalia, congratulations. You're now a core. Cool. All right, that conversion's done. Let's go ahead and convert Pisa. Pisa? Pisa? Pisa. It's Pisa. It's the Leaning Tower. Pisa. Alright. These guys harder to convert? Oh, you know what? It's probably because these guys are technically heretics. No. Wow, we have a lot of heretical beliefs. What's heathen? Jewish, Sarmatian, Zoroastrian, Mitraism, Brahmin, Dravidan, Jainism, Buddhism, Four Immortals. What the hell is the Four Immortals? I would love to see that. Are they, like, over here? No? Well, Zoroastrians over here. Wow. Who the Zoroastrians? These guys. No, nope, these guys. <laughs> I'll tell say, like, wow, that's pretty united, and they have a lot of rebels, but no, nope, no, that's just because it was trade range. Yep, yeah, I'm an idiot. How's our army? Yep, third greatest army, third best administration, and fifth best, best diplo power. We are far ahead of our historical counterparts. <sighs> we don't even need freaking Julius or Augustus Caesar taking over all this land. We're doing it by ourselves. I mean... Well, it starts at like 500 BC, right? So we're... It's been almost 100 years, so it's only 400 BC. And we've already conquered all this land. And there's really no stopping us now. Nenturi, are you... Oh my god, they are weak. They are very weak. Also, Venecia. You guys are weak as well. Alright, let's check these guys, huh? So, you guys... Oh my god, 32,000. And their force limit's 17. We honestly could get more force limit. You know what? Go ahead and build a whole nother 10. 
Because we have the money for it. And obviously we have the manpower for it. Thank God for quantity ideas. I mean, Jesus Christ, yeah. Oh, we should make Corsica into a state. Now we own all of it. Might as well, right? And... Well, actually, if we check states... It's right here. States... Amelia Liguria Orientalis. You know what? I'll, I'll go with Amelia. A, A Amelia. A Amelia. I don't know how the fuck to pronounce it. Anyways, uh, we need new seats. All right. Let's again give it up to the Latins. Any more Latin lands? No. Well, this one, I guess. There you go. Nine seats in Senate. Eh, it's getting a bit big. Maybe I should become an empire eventually. Eventually. Oh, and slave revolts. Isn't that just fun? Here, uh, 20,000. You guys can go put them down. Easy. Oh, well, it's not over. There we go. Now they're down. And you have the Corsis. Yay. Corsi. All right. Go kill them. Are they easy enough? Oh, they're very easy. Oh, so rebels in this game just don't get destroyed at... Well, I mean, the nationalist rebels don't get destroyed like they do in the base game. It's pretty interesting. All right, this unrest has to go down. Please don't rise up again. I think... Who are we going for next? Well, the north is getting totally fucked over. Ooh, these guys got freed. Tarawini. We could feed you to our little buddy. Speaking of which, when can we annex you? Because I really don't want you anymore. 13 years. Great. All right. But you know what? This is where I'm going to have to end this episode. Yes. So we completely annihilated our enemies over here. We're now converting them to glorious diaconsentes. The Romans are now a great power, which is fantastic. And our future is looking brighter and brighter by the day. So thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Ilya too, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.